Today's episode is about live effects. Live effects take the signal directly from the hardware, process it on the timeline, and play it back. This is most useful for live signal enhancement for musicians, announcers at trade shows, enhancing video from a microscope, a telescope, or enhancing video for first-person RC modeling. Having said that, I've never used this in the 20 years it's been around. It doesn't save a recording. The key with live effects is configuration. You have to configure audio and video for recording as if you were going to be recording to a file before you can actually play them through the timeline. So let's go to the settings menu. Go to recording. We have to configure for recording to a file. And we want to record to QuickTime because that'll do audio and video. We want the audio just uncompressed, 16 bits. Video format will be JPEG photo. Now for the audio, I'm just going to use ALSA. The device is going to be a webcam, so I'm going to record off of a USB device. It's very important when using the live effect to use the smallest possible buffer. I find 2 kilobytes to be the optimum size. We're not going to be saving the disk. The sample rate should be 48 kilohertz, and the channels should be two channels. And on the video side, we're going to be using a webcam. Uh, this particular webcam supports JPEG compression. The video device is usually Dev Video Zero or Dev Video One. We're not recording to disk, so we don't need to worry about this. Leave the buffers at two. The size of the captured frame is used for the live effect, and the frame rate will be neglected when using the live effect. It's also important when configuring the live audio that the playback buffer size is as small as possible. So here I have two kilobytes, which is already known to be the smallest possible without dropping out. So assuming all your configuration is correct, hit OK. Now first we're going to verify that the recording settings are working. Go to File Record without actually recording a file. Now the webcam has come on, and what do we see? but a lion. There's a lion in the room. And we can also see the audio levels that the microphone is picking up. Test, test. So now is a good time to adjust the mic levels. This webcam doesn't go down very far, so the audio is going to overload. If you talk real close to it. Also, to, right now the webcam is outputting black and white. To configure the saturation, you have to go in the recording monitor. And here we have the color controls. So I just go to the saturation. That's a more useful value. The picture settings in the record monitor are the ones that are used when using the live effect. There are no picture settings in the live effect itself. So now that all the uh, input signals seem to be working, we can cancel out of this without recording anything. Let's start by passing live audio through two channels. So I'm going to create two tracks. I'm going to select 15 minutes of the timeline. Go to the audio menu, attach effect, live audio. Also attach a single standalone and share the others. So we want the recording to record two channels. I want the two channels to go to these two tracks, so that requires attaching a plugin here and then sharing it on the second track. So it'll open the driver once and take two channels from the driver. To start passing through the audio, you just hit play. And now, as you can hear, there's, there's, uh, uh, there's one, one copy, copy of my, of my voice, voice coming from the, from the webcam, webcam here. here. And one copy narrating this video here. Since I'm not, I'm not doing, doing any effects on the timeline, it's just, just passing, passing it through. through. So, so let's, let's try, try attaching, attaching an effect that's, that's pretty, pretty obvious. obvious. So now, now when, when I, I talk, talk the reverb, reverb effect, effect being, being processed, processed in real time. In real time. Low. Low. Test. 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 And if you don't like that, you can just hit undo. 
and we can try other effects. Let's try attaching an audio compressor. When using the live effect, there is no capability for shifting audio in time. So the reverse audio effect, the uh, resampling effect, time shifting effects won't work. For the audio compressor, you have to set the reaction time to a positive number. When reaction is negative, it actually looks ahead. When reaction is positive, it goes by previous data only. So we set the reaction time to a positive number. The K can stay the same. And now we can apply the compressor to real-time audio. So, so now, now it's, it's compressing, compressing it right, right up, up against, against 0 dB. dB. No matter, no matter how, how far, far away, away I am, it will automatically increase, increase the, gain. the gain. I'm really up close. close. Really up close. Really, really far, far away. away. Really, really far, far away. away. And, and it's and adjusting, adjusting the level. The level. And we and can, we can turn, turn this off, off in real, in real time. time. So now we're, we're, we're back, back to, to just the live, live input. input. And this, this is with, with the, the compressor. compressor. Let's detach that. We can also try the pitch shift. Since this doesn't affect the amount of time, it should work properly. This is pitch shift. Test, 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 test. Pitch shift changes the pitch without changing the duration. Test. 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 Hello. Hello world. So now that you've seen the live audio processing, let's try live video processing. I'm just going to go to video, add track, create a new video track, and then select the region that has the audio. Go attach live video. For the live video, there is a setting for selecting an analog input channel. Since you're not likely to find an analog video source anymore, this isn't really used anymore. All the other settings have to be done inside the record monitor. Let's play it back and see what happens. So there's, there's the lion again. There's the lion again. The audio is being passed. The audio is being passed. And as you can see, the video is only occupying a small corner of the window. And the reason is, live video uses the size of the recording screen, not the size of the track or the project. So the track size is HD. The project size is HD. But if we go into preferences, the recording is only 640 by 480. This particular webcam does 1280 by 960. So we can put that in the preferences. We have to save a backup and reload it in order to propagate the change to all the different stages of the live effect. If you want to apply a live effect to the video, the same rules apply. There's no time shifting, no resampling. All we can do are pass through effects. You can apply a histogram. And we can just go through this. Tweak it a little. Tweak it a little. And that's how you use live effects.